Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my one gallon of water per day challenge, how it all went, what happened, and also some tips to help you drink more water in a day. And in the upcoming clip, you're going to say, see me say three days, but it's been more like two weeks. So if you like this video, like this video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and let's get to it. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is the start of my one gallon of water a day challenge. Um, I hate to call it a challenge because I used to drink a gallon of water a day just every day But for me, it is going to be a challenge starting back up getting back on track. This is not just a three-day thing But like a starting point a jumping-off point for me um, So usually I'm drinking and I don't drink out of gallon water jugs like this I we have a filter at home. So I'm generally drinking out of jars or cups this is my everyday water guy here and I used to have you know at least four of these or so but lately I've been having not even one some days if it's really hot I'll have one but just not you know the proper water intake so actually as I'm saying that I should probably take another drink of water so anyways for the next three days I'm gonna uh, be drinking my gallon of water a day. Every day I do start with a drink of water. Even though I haven't been drinking enough water, I still do do that. The whole family does that. We start the day when we wake up in the morning with water and lemon and then continue on. So for me, I'm gonna try and start the day with a half gallon of water, maybe lemon, maybe not, we'll see. And then, you know, continue on throughout the day. So this is day one. Um, each day I'll be updating and then on day three, I hope to see, you know, come back, let you know what changes I see, how I'm feeling, if I'm back in the groove and now it's just a regular thing again, which I hope, I hope, I hope. Um, and I know it will be, it just takes time when you're getting back into something. It takes some days to make that a habit again and for your body to get used to it. So after that, maybe I'll even go into a juice fast um, I love to do that to reset my body and get back on the right track and get started again. So we'll see after these three days. I'm starting, you know, slowly with this three day water challenge and um, we'll see how it goes. So I think I'll put all three of these together. So not just day one, day two, day three, because there won't be much to say. So um, I'll end here and then hopefully tomorrow I'll be putting on day two. All right, thank you, bye. Okay, so my first tip is to drink water first thing in the morning. You've been asleep for how many ever hours and your body is dehydrated. So before you grab for the juice or the coffee, um, it's great to start with water. I know I physically feel dehydrated in the morning, so I always start with my water and immediately get on the right track to drinking a gallon per day. My tip number two is room temperature water. That's a tip I got from Deepak Chopra years and years ago. He was on the Oprah show and he was saying uh, to drink, you should drink your water at room temperature. And once I started doing that, it really changed my intake because it goes in so easily. I found, find when I'm drinking ice cold water, I can sip it, but it doesn't go in as easily. So I don't drink as much. So then this is just me after one of my workouts. In my previous videos, you've seen me talk about getting back active again and back into my workouts. So this leads me into tip number three of being active. When you're more active, your body is naturally going to want more water and so it's gonna be easier for you. When I was not active, that's probably, you know, one of the large reasons why I was not drinking my water intake properly for the past few months almost the past year so when you're active I keep my um, gallon water bottle with me 
uh, not always a lot of times I'll have this or I'll have smaller water but I always have water with me when I'm working out drink it during and after number four is drink good tasting water my water filter on my fridge needs to be changed so it has not been tasting that great lately which I haven't been wanting to drink it so much even adding lemon and stuff is just still so ugh. So I was so excited when Zero Water sent me this water jug and um, what it does is it filters the water right in there. You can see there's a little spigot on the side and a pour top on the top and you just go ahead and pour the water in the top there and it filters it for you. It doesn't take that long but once it gets down through that filter um, and then into the bottom you can drink it and it also comes you will see coming up it comes with this handy uh, dandy water tester so you can test your water and see when your filter needs to be changed you change it when it's at 006 and that's TDS's which is like contaminants in the water um, so you can see it's at three zeros here and I got curious I was like let me test my refrigerator water too and see what it says and um, so I get a little water out there and I was shocked because um, it was near what my faucet water was. This was 226, 227 and my faucet was 245. So that shows you that I need a new fridge filter. But anywho, um, so I also like to add lemon to my water like I said before. Um, if you're not using organic lemons, then you might want to really scrub these guys if you're going to use the peel like I do. I like using the peel as well for the essential oils. And I just drop those in there, give it a little squeeze as well, and um, drink up. I think adding lemon helps me to drink more water as well. With this new water filter, the water tastes so clean and crisp. It's so nice as is. But I just really love adding lemon to my water too. All right, so the next tip is flavored and sparkling waters. The key is to get some with no added sugar and uh, no artificial flavors. You want only natural flavorings and you know carbonated water. There's so many brands out there right now. I grabbed these at Target, but I love, you know, there's a few that I really, really like. And then number six, always keep your water with you. When you have your water out and about, you will be less tempted to grab other things when you're thirsty. Or even if you're not feeling thirsty, you can just kind of sip it as you're driving or running your errands and always keep a backup as well. When I'm with my kids, we have several of those water cups with straws and then the backup. I like this Path water bottle because it is refillable. So after you drink the purified water inside, you can fill it on back up. So what happened to me during these past two weeks? It's been great. My mood is elevated. I feel so good, you guys. I can't believe it took me so back long to get back on my water intake. But I dropped some weight. I had decreased appetite. Um, probably that has a lot to do with the dropped weight as well, plus flushing out my system. Better sleep, waking up earlier. I've been getting so much better sleep. I was sleeping horrible before. I know that all of this also has to do with the being active part as well. Increased skin moisture in this fall, dry fall weather. That's been great, especially my feet. I was having some issues there and they've been a lot more moisturized. And then bloating, the bloating is gone. Um, that's been wonderful. I don't know if you can see in these pictures. I tried my best to do a picture the day I started and then this picture was just today. I can definitely tell. I don't know if you can tell, but I just feel less bloated. I mean, I don't feel bloated at all, you know. Um, I would wake up and go to sleep bloated and not anymore. I just feel so good, you guys. Um, so... Anywho, that is it. Please let me know down below. Do you drink a gallon of water a day? If not, how much are you drinking? Do you feel like you need to get back on it and drink more water as well? If so, I hope these tips help you. 
Thank you so much for watching. Again, like this video if you like this video. I'm going to keep sipping my water. And I will see you next time. Bye.